Angie and today I'm going to talk about Hair One Shampoo. This is a sort of a knockoff product to WEN. I decided to try it because I was really sucked in by those WEN ads. That stuff looks fantastic and everyone after they've had their professional blowout looks so good and of course I color treat my hair and that's what it's supposed to be really good for because it's sulfate free. But when I went online to look into ordering, I just could not fathom the price that they were asking for it. Also, I hate those reorder schemes where they send you automatically the amount that they think that you should need every month. It's just not in my nature to buy something like that. So I, of course, went on YouTube and checked out some videos where people were comparing uh, when to a product called Hair One that I had never heard of. So I went on Amazon and bought a bottle of Hair One, and here it is. It looks like this. This is the one for color treated hair. I paid about $9.70 for it plus shipping which was about $3.50. So it's not bad considering that you don't need shampoo plus conditioner. So this is just your, this is both. This is shampoo and conditioner combined. I have been using it for about two weeks now. Uh, the product that I used to use is um, John Frieda's Full Repair. As you can see they're almost empty. This is the shampoo and this one is the conditioner. This is for color treated hair and I've been pretty happy with it. Now um, According to a lot of the videos that I saw that warned you about Hair One, it said that you your hair falls out, you have to use way too much, all this stuff. Um, I found that to be sort of true and not true at the same time. The way you use it is you pump a whole bunch of it into your hand and you put it on the top and you really work it in and you scrub your scalp. And then you let that sit on there a couple of minutes and then you pump a whole bunch more into your hands seems like a ton when you're doing it, especially based on my length of hair, and then you put it through the length of your hair, and then you rub that around, and then you comb it through while you're in the shower. And I gotta say, yes, my hair did come out in the combing, but it's no more than the hair that would normally come out when I am combing my hair when I'm out of the shower. It's just the nature of hair, you know, it, it has a life cycle and it falls out. So I felt like that was kind of a wash, but you probably notice it more when you're in the shower because, you know, it's stuck to your hands and it's all gooey, it's all over the place and it's building up in the drain and then you really see it versus when you're just combing it and you pull it out of your comb and throw it away. So anyway, um, here is the amount of product that you had to use for my hair length. That is not that much when I was pumping it out it seemed like a ton but when I compare that to the amount of shampoo and conditioner combined that I used it seems to be about the right amount. I gotta say I really haven't been using this much this is about 28 pumps which is what they would have you use and in a bottle this big um, I don't know each time I use it it goes down a lot so this would only last I'd say um, maybe a month a month and a half if I used it at this rate but I've been experimenting and cutting back. So I used about half this much after the first two times that I used it. So now I'm using about half this much, which is about 10 pumps. So maybe I'll do five in the top, five at the ends. So I'm using substantially less, so I hope the product is going to last um, a bit longer. I'm just going to show you some videos so you can see what my hair looked like on John Frieda, uh, full repair. And now, obviously, you can see what my hair looks like using the um, Hair One product. I don't see that big of a difference, <laughs> frankly. Um, it's not overly shiny. I was hoping that it would be much more shiny, much more manageable, that um, I would have a much easier time blowing it out and making it look good. I'm really hair challenged. I am not good with the blow dryer and the round brush. As much as I try and try and try and I stand there and I section it and I do all the things, I don't know what happens. My hair um, gets a little weird, especially over here. Maybe it is the haircut. It wasn't a revolution, that's for sure. So all in all, I think it's pretty good. Um, but I also like the full repair, so I'm not knocking either of them. I think they're both good and I'll probably just go ahead and use them both. All right, so I hope this was helpful. And um, thanks for watching, and take care.